How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Awesome Craft Beer in BC. Today, we are going to be drinking the Hypnotist. The Hypnotist from Parallel 49. It's an Imperial IPA. It's 8.5 AB. <laughs> it's 8.5 ABV. It's uh, brewed with mosaic hops. It's a seasonal. Here's a little bit of copy. Uh, look into my eyes. You're getting sleepy, very sleepy. Close your eyes and enter the vast realm of mosaic hop flavor in this Imperial IPA. When you awaken, you will feel enlightened. You will be at one with the hop. Cool. Uh, Parallel 49 is located in Vancouver, British Columbia. It's quite good. All right, let's check out this Imperial IPA. Uh, I imagine it being quite hoppy, but we'll see. It does have a lot of alcohol, so it might be a little bit sweet as well. Imperial IPAs can do that. Here we go. So this is, it's a little, it's very thick. It looks like orange juice. Yeah, it totally does. Orange, almost, it's got this milkshake sort of kind of density to it. It's quite dense. It's not hazy particularly, but it is quite dense. Oh yeah, that is, I, was, I always talk about the IPA, hoppy smell, and this definitely has it. Mm. It's got quite a punch to it. Almost not unlike a fruit punch, but a, like a mixture of a lot of different uh, fruits. Yeah, let's go with that. Maybe a bit of mango, a little bit of mango on the nose. Definitely on the sweeter end of the fruit, fruit category. Can't really speak today. Almost, so not as citrusy. Definitely, definitely a mango I'm getting. All right, let's go in for the taste. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> there is definitely a lot going on with this one. It hits you right away, sort of the way like a fruit smoothie will hit you with just like a variety of different flavors. This one definitely does that. It's definitely right away it just crams it right into you. And then once you sort of gain your composure, the bitterness sinks in. And even now, as I'm just tasting the finish, it's very heavy. It's very bitter. That's an Imperial IPA. It's got a very creamy, creamy, full-bodied mouthfeel. Um, yeah, but it, it's not, it's not very sweet. It's definitely leaning a lot more on the bitter end. Uh, however, if you like a bitter fruit, sort of like a grapefruit kind of thing, uh, I think you could really enjoy this. It's it, it, it does have a lot of that grapefruit kind of, um, I guess flavor to it. There is a bit of sweetness at the beginning. Now that I really, 
I'm really looking for it, and I sort of gained my composure from that initial, that initial hit. Uh, there's there's a slight, almost tanginess to it, if I may. Yeah. What more can I say about this? Yeah, it's very thick. <clears throat> it's not necessarily a beer that I would want to drink all night. I feel like this is a good this is a good beer to share with a a bunch of people. It's already the hoppiness itself is it's getting a little little too much for me. It's it's definitely um it's definitely a palate killer because there's just so much flavor going on all at once. You got the your palate sort of looking for a different thing, like I was saying at the beginning, it just hits you and then you get swamped by the bitterness and then after a few more tastes, you can sort of uh, find the sweetness. It's like a different beer as you go. So if you try another beer afterwards, I feel like you're not doing that beer justice necessarily. So yeah, it's flavor country. There's definitely a lot of it. Very, very intense beer we got here. Um, yeah, this is Parallel 49, Hypnotist. You got this character up in front. Parallel 49's got a very distinct style of artwork. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with him. He's got four arms and no shoes. Interesting. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to end it at that. It's going to end it at that. Will I order this again? Definitely not on the same night. I don't think I would. It's uh, quite heavy for me, quite intense. I do like a hoppy beer, but in terms of the balance of it, it it's a little aggressive. If you're into aggressive beers that really just knock, knock your shoes off, then this is the one for you. But if you're looking for a kind of chiller beer, which I'm uh, not gonna lie, I kind of was tonight. And uh, I don't know why I picked the 8.5% beer to do it on tonight. Thought I had a uh, higher stamina. Can't always anticipate this stuff. One day I will. I guess is the whole point of this exercise. Um, yeah, if you have more energy than me tonight, then definitely go with this one. The Hypnotist, Parallel 49. Cheers.